Bob Hayden. I'm the chief of the Brockton Police Department. Around 5 o'clock this morning, I was notified uh, by Lieutenant Paul Bonanca that a major drug arrest had occurred in the city. Uh, a couple of months ago, we came up with a list of the 50 worst criminals in, uh, in Brockton. And uh, today, two of the top five are no longer wandering the streets of Brockton. They're safely ensconced uh, with us uh, downstairs in a cell block. Um, I want to thank the collaborative efforts of the, uh, uh, the Brockton Police Narcotics Detectives, the Mass State Police, the Plymouth County Sheriff's Department, Sheriff McDonald is here, Mass Department of Correction, and the Weymouth Police Department. Um, there was a simultaneous raid done this morning uh, be, uh, at Weymouth and, and in Brockton, and um, it, uh, it took two of the worst criminals we have in the city off the streets and accounted for uh, all of this uh, money, drugs, and guns that you see in front of you. Um, I would like to introduce, first I'd like to thank uh, Detective uh, Ernie Bell, who's uh, the person that actually started this investigation a couple of months ago. And through his hard work and uh, really dedicated hard work, he developed a probable cause for this to occur in our city. I'd like to invite uh, Lieutenant Paul Bonanca up to talk specifically about um, the good work that you see in front of us here. Good afternoon. I'm Detective Lieutenant Paul Bonanca. I'm the um, supervisor of the uh, detectives uh, in the evening shift at the Brockton Police Department. And I'd like to start by saying that as a result of an investigation of an illicit uh, narcotics distribution operation by uh, Brockton narcotics detectives, uh, search warrants were executed at, uh, by both the Brockton Police uh, Special Reaction Team at 112 Lawrence Street in Brockton, and the, uh, assisted also by the Massachusetts State Police Stop Team at 492 Front Street in Weymouth. Uh, two individuals were placed in custody, uh, seized as a result of the investigation was uh, more than a half a kilo of cocaine actually uh, more than 601 grams, 14.8 uh, grams of heroin and uh, an assortment of Percocet pills, as well as a uh, high capacity firearm with uh, ammunition. Uh, also taken was uh, more than $38,000 in U.S. currency and two vehicles, which I'm told the uh, Plymouth County District Attorney's Office will be uh, seizing pursuant to forfeiture. Also, um, uh, paraphernalia related to narcotics distribution was seized. That's uh, five cellular telephones, scale, and baggies. And uh, the uh, chief did mention uh, the members and the departments that uh, had assisted us. And we appreciate uh, the work that our, our fine uh, people have done, as well as the assistance by the other departments. Uh, the following were placed in custody. Uh, the first is uh, Roger DePina. He's 26 years old. And he was arrested at the uh, Brockton location, which is 112 Lawrence Street in Brockton. Uh, the second individual was uh, Ricky DePina, 26 years old also, and uh, he was seized at the Weymouth address at 492 Front Street in Weymouth. <clears throat> Both defendants were charged with one count of unlawful possession of a large capacity firearm, one count of unlawful possession of ammunition, one count of trafficking in cocaine, one count of possession with intent to distribute a Class A substance, heroin, and one count of unlawful possession of a large capacity feeding device, which is a magazine. Uh, defendant Roger DePina additionally is charged with one count of possession of a Class B substance. Uh, both uh, defendants were transported to the uh, Police Department for Processing, and the defendants are expected to be arraigned in Brockton District Court. I'd like to introduce now the uh, mayor of the city of Brockton, uh, Mayor Bill Coppiner. Well, thank you, Lieutenant. Uh, my remarks will be very brief. I just, on behalf of the residents of the city of Brockton, I want to express my appreciation for the great work uh, that's being done by the Brockton Police Department, uh, led by Chief Hayden, our detective squad, the narcotics unit, um, Detective Bell, and all the others uh, involved in the investigation. I also want to personally thank all of the other agencies, the Plymouth County Sheriff, the DA's office, and the various state and federal uh, law enforcement authorities who are working so closely uh, with Chief Hayden and the Brockton Police Department. Uh, when I appointed uh, Bob Hayden as the chief about five or six weeks ago, uh, I think I gave him a pretty simple mission, get the drugs and guns off the streets of our city. And I hired him because I believed he was the man to lead that effort. And I think that today we're beginning to see the results already of uh, his leadership, uh, the new effort to incorporate and share intelligence among various agencies, bring additional resources to the city, make a stronger commitment to the Detective Bureau and the Narcotics Unit, and uh, that all happening under the leadership of Chief Hayden. 
And uh, I just want to uh, personally thank uh, the Brockton Police Department and everyone else involved uh, for their efforts here. And I hope that this will be a, uh, a clear message uh, is being sent uh, that if you sell drugs in the streets of our city, we will arrest you and put you away. So if you want to sell drugs, go find someplace else. We're not going to tolerate it here.